Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna build a shipwreck and in that shipwreck we're gonna make a fully enchantment room. And this, this is the little mermaid that we made a last episode. And no, I wasn't stealing any treasures. I was putting in some tropical fish and yes, I did give them a name. So my name is Xari, welcome back and let's see where we can build a dead shipwreck to be honest. And this of course, my storage room, it always makes me smile. Hello Axolotls and hello Tropical Fish, welcome, welcome and welcome my keeper of the storage room. Yes, and here I am and I thought on this plot of sand, it's so empty right now, I can actually make a scene with a shipwreck because this series is like an under the sea theme. So in a little a fast montage for you, because you don't have to see all the grindy bits, I actually made this place and now it's time to build a ship. Well, a shipwreck, but I thought it's going to be easier if I just build a ship first, a little one, not as detailed, but basically the outline of a ship. And then I'm going to tear up a part again to have a shipwreck. In my mind, that was the way it worked out. Yes. But my mind is always sometimes very weird, there's no always plan or, 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 or work out the way I think it's gonna be. Definitely not in Minecraft, but you know, I'm just gonna try and see. So I put up this size and I thought, yeah, is this basically the, 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 the outline of a ship? And I thought so. So the next thing is to uh, build it a little bit up. I thought it was a bit short, so I made it a little bit longer. I still had some room there adding some blocks, removing some blocks just to see if I like it or not. And yeah, it's just playing around with blocks. Now I am not much of a ship build. I don't build many ships <laughs> in Minecraft. Most times I just build weird flowing things and whatever, like flowers and weird creatures. But hey, yeah, why not? It's just a uh, trial and error. Now, like you can see, I just build it up. I remove blocks, I add blocks, and I keep kind of uh, looking around, flying around, walking around it to see if I like the shape or not. And of course this is going to be very blocky, but it's just about being happy with the rough shape of the ship. Now, and if you can hear my cats in the background, they all find it just basically playing with themselves, of playing with each other. So and I thought, okay, how low do I want... Um, no, it's not the roof of the ship, is it? Is it the bottom of the ship? How do you call the floor of the ship? Because somewhere I need to place an enchantment room in here, so I need to have some room. So I thought this would be the nice height. If you stand there, you can still look uh, over the, the ship railings. <laughs> See, I told you, I know nothing about ships. <laughs> <laughs> just a rough outline of it then I thought that could work so I actually filled this in to have a floor of the ship or well, a partition of the ship is that how you call it and I did like it and now for this part the back of the ship <laughs> yeah um, I needed to be a bit higher because I was planning to under that part make the enchantment room so I just needed some space and I think this is also how kind of a ship works, because you stand there and then you um, sail away and you can steer away. Oh man, I'm gonna get so many comments of you guys like, did you say it all wrong? I know. But yeah, this is, like I said, the very rough outline of the ship and I think, put some sails here. Yeah. Yeah, I can see this working. It just looks like a shoe box right now, but it is actually time to put back uh, some of the uh, structure in, some of the design in, make it less blocky in a very blocky game. Yeah, that's tricky, I know. But uh, that's I think that's kind of always what I try to do in Minecraft. Try this blocky game not to look blocky in builds. Yeah, now I think about it, it's quite weird, isn't it? But that's that's what I, I try to do a lot with circles and flowing things and yeah. <laughs> Maybe I just play the game wrong. Maybe that's what it's going on with me. But anyway, I love the game. I love the game for being weird and building stuff. And uh, I'm not so good at survival, but 
I think I have an idea for that. Because I think at some point I want to have a solo survival world to see if I can survive and build up a world. For now, when the rough outline is, we're going to place some uh, details in it and some um, stuff. Just to make it look like a nice little shippy. And this is always a part I like as well. I like, yeah, see it already gives it some more depth and 3D features of the build and I was just thinking like how can I put this down there like this to actually shape the build that's what I'm just trying to do when I add blocks and add blocks on the outside with some depth 3d but also definitely the shape and I know this is all in one color but I plan to do it different because if you are living near an ocean or you have an boat ship in the ocean the salt water or water in general will um, affect the color of the wood and will stain it and wear it down so it's not going to be an all one color now i'm just trying to kind of still build up my ship that it is like believable it once could have been sailing this seas and now had an accident and is here in my wonderful world I was just like, you can see me looking, adding blocks, and this is basically the outline of the ship. And I think it's time to make it into a shipwreck. Yeah, this is where my what my mind goes weird, maybe, instead of just building a shipwreck. So if I look at the ship, I see this darker color where the sails would be. So I place it down and then I removed it from the ship. So I just broke it down, basically. And that's how I hope... At the end of this process i will end up with a shipwreck the same as here this side so the must have been coming falling down so there should be a hole in here with some scattered and um, wood around so this is what i'm doing here just removing blocks and adding blocks i think if you have a shipwreck then the point will be affected too so i think i'm gonna build that one here so everything fell to one side basically i don't know if the really works in the real world but in my mind it made sense in my mind maybe that says <laughs> enough anyway but yeah so that's what i'm doing i'm just looking at the shapes looking at the colors and blocks i used and then uh, remove those areas and here i go back in with a darker a wood in this um, occasion it's a logs it also gives depth to a ship and it's on the underside should be darker because of course, yeah, it's in the water, there's no light. And this one, I thought, it's all too one color. So I want to make the, uh, the outside another color so that it will pop out. It's a different part of the ship. And here, this is too narrow for that, but I want to put it in here. This is basically the back of the ship. And I also like this, that if you're there, you can uh, watch behind you and see what's behind you in the ocean, what you just passed. And we all need an, an area to actually control the ship. And I thought, maybe this can work. Yeah. Now, this ship is not that big. So, make an entire rudder, an entire thing on it. It's not really working. And hey, it's broken down, right? It's a shipwreck. Oh, that's what it's supposed to mimic. And I kind of like this. The ship locks. Now I need something else. Because this is too flat. And I thought maybe something on the item frame. This didn't really work the way I wanted to work. It didn't stick out. So I thought maybe even without the item frame. Does it work then? And yeah. Is it perfect? No. Does it work for me? Yeah. I think so. I'm happy with that one. Now it's time to make space for uh, the area where I'm going to build the adjournment room in. And of course I actually build it in sand. So I'm going to dig out a little bit that I have some more room. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe the ship isn't this like deep, but hey, it's it's, it's it the lore or the story of the world? <laughs> I don't know. It works. It works. It works. And then I also like the darker uh, for the floor here into the ship. And now I created a little area. Now I need a, a path away out of there that I can walk in and walk out. Because yeah. I don't have an enchantment room in this world yet, so that's why I want to build one. I like to be um, to give my builds like a purpose, a story um, that you go in there, and, and because you need something, 
And of course you can make a base where you have everything in one base. And I like to walk around in the world and uh, every single thing has a little farm of a little room, a little bit of history. And in this case it's going to be an enchantment room. Now I didn't really like the flooring here. So I'm just going to uh, close that. We need some lights and lantern over there. Yes. I think this is enough space that it will fit a fully enchantment table with 30 levels. Because that's the whole purpose, that you can actually use it. Now like I said, when the outside almost finished, I was just trying to see what I liked for all the, the weathering of, of the ocean and on the shipwreck. Because I think it needed something more than just different color blocks and laying around. And I actually chose for the skulk veins and the glow lichen. I always like glow lichen, it gives this effect to it, it glows. And I think the skulk veins work as well. Now it's time to fit an enchantment setup in here. And when I was building this, I, I did count the blocks. Like I, I know how much room I needed for a fully enchantment uh, table for level 30. I always like to add a lot of barrels in my builds for storage. And hey, if you're still here, thank you very much. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Because I'm trying to grow this channel and it really helps me. And this is it fully decorated. Yeah, I know probably with those false things you can't just get them and move them around. I'm here in the creative world and I kind of thought, ah, it kind of works. It's like a fold of the ship, maybe for pirate stuff. I don't know, it just worked. And I really like it. What? You didn't subscribe yet? You forgot? Nah, you still have time to click the button and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do outside of the ship. Yes, outside of the ship I thought it needed a little bit of ocean life. Now I have made this plan before. It is with um, light inside and with water uh, bubbles of air bubbles floating up in the water. And of course there's no water, we mimic that, right? That's the whole part of it. You can build an ocean build without having an ocean around. <laughs> in my mind you can. And I really like it. And here's some water plants. And I was trying to have like different colors here. So I thought, what if I can use the copper pearl for some light? And I did like it. And um, I'm still lighting up the copper bulbs with redstone blocks. Yep. Still doing that. It's, it's fast and easy. Um, I really like this design. But when I build a couple and I flew away from the ship. It really kind of had the same color as the ship, as the oak, and I wanted something to pop out more. So at the end of this, I actually removed that and I put crying obsidian in there, but I did rebuild this plant somewhere in this area. So if you have a good eye at the end of the episode, maybe you can spot it. And this is another water plant. I thought this area needed something green, something bigger. And um, yeah, I've built this a couple of things around. So I am also mimicking other plants already in this area to really see that it is one area. And at some point also with all the decorations, I will tie it together. And now it's time to build a funny crap. Some, some life, because I haven't built really a lot of creatures yet in this uh, world. I'm actually planning to make... An, an episode where I built some sea creatures and some fish and maybe some manta rays or stingrays. And now it's time for Mr. Little Crab. So I built two different ones here. It's one um, with the pickles as eyes and this is with the candles as eyes. So this is one of the bigger crabs. I know it's still small. And I was just looking with the claws. I think this can work too. But to be honest, I like the wall better. So I put it back there. Now, I really found it a funny design. It's very derpy. And this is my little crab. Now, and this one is a little bit of a problem that and maybe you can spot it. This is very, very small and very easy to, to build. But I always like to add creatures. It just adds some life. Look, it is floating a bit because of the fences. And I was like, hmm, how can I get rid of that? Or how can I kind of hide it? And I put slabs around it. But yeah, I couldn't completed put slabs under it of course because there's the fence but I think at the end I found a way to actually let the mini crabs the little one works and let me know let me know in the comments are you team small crab or team big crab which crab is the best so just type small crab big crab and other people that watch this episode are gonna think what is all about that 
Yes, and after all the working and all the building, I'm just chilling out. I already did all the outside and put some... Well, you know what? I think I can show you what I did with it. Come on, I will take you over. And, um... um which way to go? <laughs> I'm so not good in walking in at five, looking into a camera and like, Oh, look at me! Just wanted, like one of those vloggers. I'm not good at that, okay? I'm a bit awkward there. But yeah, hello back and welcome to see you. So I put in a, a path in from a glow, glow stuff and there it is. I added a lot of like bushes to mimic some ocean plants around that grew when it was the it was rotting away here. Now you can actually walk all over the ship. You can see I also in the ship, I um, mixed the blocks with lighter and darker to mimic the erosion of the water. And if you go in here, I really like this stuff. I put some paintings in there. It's fully working. It's absolutely level 30 because that is what we need in a world, right? If you want to enchant our stuff. And I really like the outside. Yeah, I like this area. It is a lot. It is cluttered and it is a lot, but I think it really fits it. And I will also use some of these tips and tricks that are built here in the other area on this platform. There's the crabs, Mr. Crab, Mr. Crab. Hello, hello. <laughs> I find them so derpy and funny. And there is the ship. Well, the ship wreck. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this episode. I hope you saw some tips and tricks. Have a great day and I, I see you next week. <laughs>